Now our tale of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the USC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 28 wins. 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Bridgewater, Massachusetts, USA, presenting the challenger, Joe J. Lo Loza. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? Right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base team over arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC run. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Single collar tie now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the champion. The Muay Thai block. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. Got to check these kicks or you're gonna be licking around the octagon very soon. Check your oh. What a big oh. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop it. these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just out of range with that right hook. See if he can finish. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Boy, tie clutch. Lozon gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Punch is blocked. Oh, the collar tie. Another punch to the head. He's really turned. 
turning every part of himself into those strikes in the head. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Final seconds of round one. Round two next. Watch it, there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Well, with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at him whip his hip. Whoa! That kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. That knee might have landed there. Oh, shoes hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch by Lou. Leg kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lozon gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rattle. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. What a punch. It's such a fast leg nice kick. Shot oh. 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 oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Lozon's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, wow, oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, five seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar.
While tears of joy and hard to blame him, we have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt wrapped around my waist tonight. He got that done.